Curry is one of the most well-known flavors of India. You know, people think that curry is an actual spice, but in fact, it's a blend of 15 different ingredients. You have different spices, herbs, and seeds that make up a great curry. Now you have all of these different type of curry spices right here that would go into making the curries, whether it's the turmeric, the fennel seed, the cardamom, the coriander. But here's what gives curry that beautiful golden color. This is turmeric root. Let me show you what this looks like. This is so cool. It's, it's just an amazing, amazing flavor and a fantastic smell. It's, it's almost hard to describe. It almost has a little bit of a soapy smell, but in a great way. Very, very, very pungent. And you see how beautiful the color is. And this is where the color of your curry is coming from. Look at that. Now, there's a lot of different types of curries out there. And what the aficionados do in India is they'll actually grind theirs up daily. And then they can kind of pass it out and use it in different dishes throughout the day. But that's it. Once it's gone, it's gone. If you don't want to get all of your different spices like this and mix it up daily, you can buy a pre-made curry powder. And it's pretty simple. They come in two different forms. One is a simple standard curry, and the other is a madras. Now, a madras is a bit spicier than the standard curry. It has chili pepper in it, and it gives it a little bit of heat, sometimes a lot of heat. It just depends. So here's the actual curry leaf. This is so cool. I use this when I cook a lot at Sona. It has an unbelievably intense fragrance. This is of like a roasty sort of curry note. You can add it at the last second when you're roasting some lamb or some chicken or even some seafood. But the key is, is you wanna take it and you wanna break it and kind of crush it up and then add it immediately into the fat, like your butter or your oil, whatever it is you're using to cook with. And it will actually perfume your meat. It's fantastic. It's not a substitute for curry spice, but it just adds a little bit of that curry note. For me, curry is evocative and exotic and complex. It's a great way to spice up your life. When shopping for curry, you can also look for curry paste, which is a mixture of curry powder and ghee or clarified butter. Since curry powder loses its pungency quickly, it should be stored in an airtight container for no more than two months. And choose curry leaves that are bright green and show no signs of yellowing or wilting.